Chills are used in molds to options achieve direction solidification, reduce the possibility of blow holes, reduce freezing time, smooth and metal flow for reducing splatter. So chills are chills and padding are used in molds to achieve directional solidification. Option A is correct. Metal supports used to keep the cores from shifting are called chaplets. So metal supports used to keep the cores from shifting are called chaplets. Primary shape of large size components like grit gear, large diameter shaft is made re realized through the process casting, options castings, joining, machining, forming. So option A is correct, Cast casting. Next question, uh, match the following. Uh, first one, aluminum brake shoe, plastic water bottle, stainless steel cups, soft drink can. So plastic water bottles, they are usually made by blow molding uh, process. Okay, uh, blow molding process. Q, Q is 2. Plastic water bottles are made by blow molding process. And P is aluminum brake shoe. Aluminum brake shoes are made by sand casting process. So P uh, sand casting, aluminum shoe brake sand casting and stainless steel cups. Stainless steel cups are ma made by impact extrusion process. Okay, stainless steel cups impact extrusion and uh, soft drink can aluminum. So they can be made by deep drying process. So yes, one. So option is C. Castability is poor for options low melting point material, high melting point material, ductile material, all of the above. Castability is poor for high melting point material. It can be suitable for low melting point material like aluminium, castrion, lead, etc. Okay, it may not be suitable for high melting point materials. So, castability is poor for high melting point material. Option B is correct. Then match the following dry sand core. Collapsibility of core, core pin and green sand core. So green sand core contains moisture for 4, option is A, 4A. Then core print. So core prints are used to see to position the core. So 3D. Okay. Then uh, collapsibility of core. So dry sand core. It contains high strength, 1B. Collapsibility of core, it contains high strength and, uh, and uh, collapse uh, dry sand core high strength and collapsibility of core hard TS okay collapsibility of core it is subject to hard TS okay next uh, next match the following uh, refractoriness collapsibility green sand coarse sand grains green sand moisture content 3A collapsibility okay uh, refractoriness ability of mold to sustain high temperature is refractoriness 1B then collapsibility so collapsibility uh, uh, 2d ability of the sand to be easily stripped of the casting so the sand should be collapsible okay so after the molding process it should be collapse collapsible so 2 is d and 4 is c coarse sand grains have higher permeability so higher permeability of air so the uh, molding have higher permeability of air so 4c then refractiveness it should be able to withstand high temperature permeability it it will it should allow gases water vapor and air to pass through if if it has low permeability if the sand has low permeability blow holes will be formed in the casting okay green sand strength flowability okay it should flow into the mold box it all in all areas collapsibility it should collapse easily after the casting has been cooled down Okay, that is the property of collapsibility. It should have cohesiveness and adhesiveness. Uh, next question, sand casted product are characterized as? So, sand casted product are characterized as? It doesn't have uh, higher accuracy. Okay, it have very poor surface finish. Option B is correct. Poor surface finish and it have high tolerance limit. Whereas the machining components and the grinding special machining components have higher tolerance limit, lower tolerance limit, but they have sand casted products have higher tolerance limit okay you cannot make very accurate products so it have higher tolerance limit and surface finish is also very poor for casting products so after the casting process you have to machine the products uh, to get a higher surface finish so the casted products have poor surface finish and it also has higher tolerance limit 
which one of the following materials will require the large size of riser for the same size of casting aluminium aluminium require large size of riser for the same size of casting okay so aluminium common and used to support the core in the mold cavity is okay chaplet it is used to support the core in the mold cavity then the options then match the following metallic chills and metallic chaplets riser exothermic exothermic padding riser uh, that is uh, so metallic chaplets to support the core q1 okay q1 option d is correct q1 then metallic chills metallic chills are used for directive solidification or progressive solidification for uh, p4 then metallic chaplets okay then r riser uh, reservoir of the molten metal okay to compensate for the shrinkage so uh, r2 then s3 exothermic padding control cooling of the critical sections exothermic paddings are used so option d is correct metal having higher specific heat generally offers if it has higher specific heat it has higher fluidity so option c is correct the solidification time in castings is proportional to volume by surface area square solidification time in castings is proportional to volume by v by a the whole square okay solidification time equal to v by a the whole square in gating system the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4 represents sprue runner and in gate area so 1 is to 2 is to 4 equal to sprue runner and in gate area hard tearing in a metal casting is due to the hard tearing hard tears are options are high fluidity high melt temperature wide range of solidification temperature low coefficient of thermal expansion they can be caused due to <coughs> wide range of solidification temperature then match the following hard tears shrinkage blow holes cold shut shrinkage is caused due to <coughs> low permeability okay sorry so sorry blow holes are caused due to low permeability r2 okay option b is correct r2 blow holes are caused due to low permeability then uh, p hard tears differential cooling rate okay if the two metals have differential cooling rate the, this type of hard tears will occur then q uh, shrinkage volumetric contraction both in liquid and solid stage okay when the metal is poured it will contract in size due to this it will shrinkage it will shrink so this is a shrinkage defect then blow holes low permeability then cold shut uh, it is improper fusion of two streams of liquid metal okay uh, s1 so option b is correct the casting defects they are molding related defects filling related defects solidification related defects that is mismatch flash or molding related defects filling related defects are misran cold shut blow holes solidification related defects are shrinkage cavity porosity etc <coughs> this is a blow hole okay this is formed due to low permeability of the sand mold the hard tearing in metal casting is due to the hard tears are due to wide range of solidification temperature option c is correct then hard tears okay uh, hard tears are cracks cracks appear on the metal surface so hard tears stresses due to the uh, stresses they will occur or due to the okay uh, due to the differential solidification temperature this type of hot air will occur the two streams of liquid metal which are not hot enough to fuse properly result into a casting defect known as options cold shed swell sand was and scab so cold shed okay if two streams of molten metal are not fused properly the cold shed defect will occur the molten metal is not introduced directly into the mold cavity as it will cause options erosion of the mold cavity corrosion and a crack in the bottom surface breakage of the mold so they are passed through the gating system because in order to avoid the erosion of the mold cavity option a is correct okay. cold shed in casting defects occurs due to options discontinuity resulting from contraction improper mixing of two streams of molten metal that are too cold to fuse or mix properly with each other in the mold so improper mixing of two streams is cold shut so option b is correct then on the match the following hard tears 
Stringage, blow holes, and cold shed. Okay, the same. My question. Then next matching. Uh, Miss run stringage, blow holes, and cold shed. Blow holes, low permeability, and stringage, volumetric contraction. Miss run. Okay, Miss run is insufficient fluid to have the molten metal. So for one is D, and cold shed improper fusion of two streams of liquid metal. Okay, Miss runs and cold sheds. Uh, Miss runs. so they will not metal unable to fill the mold cavity completely poor ramming during the mold preparation causes air inclusion hot tears drop all of these so poor ramming during the mold preparation causes drop the mold wall will drop into the casting so this is called as this defect is called as drop next match the following hot tears porosity sand sand inclusion shrinkage cavity okay um, that is um so hot tears uh, residual stress uh, in a, due to residual stress hot tears will occur porosity due to poor permeability 2a sand inclusions is uh, due to loosely rammed sand mold sand so sa sand will mix with the casting and sand inclusions will occur 3b and 4c shrinkage cavity will occur due to inadequate risering if the risering is not in adequate and uh, that shrinkage cavity will occur misran is a casting defect which occurs due to options very high pouring temperature of the metal insufficient fluidity of the molten metal the molten molten metal is uh, not a, not sufficient this type of misran casting defect will occur so option b is correct a casting defect which results in general enlargement of casting is known as swell okay the mold wall will enlarge in size okay the mold wall will enlarge in size and this defect is known as swell then um, match the following cart yes misrans and cold shed fusion and rat tails blow holes and pin hole porosity okay uh, that is uh, hard tears so sources of defects uh, due to moisture in sand and hydrogen content uh, that is blow holes will occur due to moisture in sand in and uh, the, there is blow holes will occur for d1 then for c uh, it is molding material fusion and rat tail occur due to molding material and misrans and hole shed occur due to pouring metal and uh, hard tears will occur due to it is a metallurgical defect due to stresses and uh, solidification temperature casting defect caused by poor molding strength is options swell hot spot blow holes and pin hole porosity poor molding strength if the molding strength is poor the swell will occur that is it will the casting will enlarge in size the size of the casting will be changed so this is called as option a is correct scab is a sand casting defect machining defect welding defect forging defect scab is a casting defect so option a is correct investment casting is prefer, pre preferred for manufacturing of Uh, there is turbine blades investment ca castings are used for manufacturing of turbine blades option d is correct so this is a investment casting here first wax patterns are used okay uh, and um, the, so the wax patterns are and that is so the wax patterns are melted in this process so they are called as last wax process in the investment casting they can be used for making very intricate and complex shapes um can be prepared using this investment casing it is also called as last wax process so because the wax can be melted so it is called as last wax process this are the components prepared by investment casting which are correctly matched pit molding for large jobs for large jobs we are using pit molding investment molding it is called as last wax process plaster molding uh, mold prepared in gypsum is called as plaster molding option 1 2 3 are correct then investment casting is used for options shapes which are made difficulty using complex patterns in sand casting mass production shapes which are very complex and intricate and cannot be cast by any other method so option c is correct okay then an expendable pattern is used in options slush casting skews casting centrifugal casting and investment casting expendable is not to be re reused so investment casting so the wax is the uh, used as a pattern Uh, so it cannot be used reused so in so it is an investment casting option d is correct in shell molding how the shell thickness be accurately measured measured in shell molding by uh, options by controlling the time during